question. If you know the answer, you can share with the person who is who has a phone sitting next to you. It's okay, okay? Again, this is just a practice. We just want to see if you guys remember the things we covered. Very few questions like that. Okay. All right. Yeah, you go to the root of IT and then you can just type your name, okay? The name TB Moy, that's not a name. Yeah. yeah just, just change that name, please. Okay. We wanna, we wanna act appropriate, okay? We are in the Muslim, Islamic Science class. So when you put in the answer, everybody's able to see if they got it right or wrong, right? So here, I see 19 people got it right, and then the few of you who got it wrong. Some of you have no phone, that is fine. Right. But we were talking about the pillars of the pillars of Iman. Which of the following is not a pillar of Iman? So believe in Allah, that's one of it. Believe in Allah's angels. Believe in the last day, but establish the daily prayers. That is a pillar of Islam, not Iman. Okay, the next one. So we show with the scope. And that, it will show you in the order of who did it first. Okay? This question is a true or false question. Angel Malik is the main hero of the Hellfire. Is that true or false? That's true. Choose it. Title, whatever you see, the answer choice you have is the right one. Okay, let's, let's go to the volume, please. So that is true. So, Hajar Malik and the Hazrat Allah, the one who is in charge of the gate of the hellfire. And then it shows you again. So, it shows you the top five places. Next one. Which is not a condition. When purifying yourself with a stone or something out of the water. A lot of you did not get it right. Okay? Most of you did not get it right. Only 14 get it right, the rest missing. Remember when we are doing Shurudu Izai al Hajar, that was our second lesson. That was our third lesson. So the conditions, the impurity, should not have to spread out, yes, that is a condition. The next one, water should not splash with the salt, yes, that's also another another condition. A minimum of seven stones. That's not right. What is the minimum requirement? Three. And Yakuna be the It has to be at least three stones. Okay? And then the next one, the impurity should not be completely dry. Yeah, that is the condition. So the question was, which one is not a condition? Okay. Alright, next one. I see you guys having fun, right? Okay. Next question. Okay, which of the following is a sunnah act of Ruhu? Okay. Now, okay. let, let me talk for a second. Right now, right now, I know most of you know this. It is, you only have 20 seconds to do it, but you're going to make sure you properly read the question. It says, which of the following is a sunnah act of Ruhu? We have the sunnah and we have the follow, the compulsory. So the sunnah is the part you can skip. Okay? Now, washing the face, is that a sunnah? No. No. So if you don't wash your face, then you did not do your wudu. Number two is wiping any part of the head. Is that a sunnah? No. It's a must. Number three, wiping inside and outside of the ears. That one is a sunnah. If you don't do it, your wudu will still be complete. And then the last one is intention. 
uh, intention is number one. If you don't come with an intention, then you are not doing a wudu. So all the other three are far or compulsory acts. This is the only one which is a sunnah. All the other three are a must. So make sure you understand the question. Okay? The other three are the obligatory acts of wudu. This one is a sunnah. Okay? Yeah, so in the, in the Quran, Allah says, Ya ayuhal ladhin amanu, ida humtu ila salat, fausir wujuhakum, wa idiyakum ila al-marafiq, wa msahu birumusikum, wa rajulakum ila al-ta'bayn. Next question. Okay, so this is going to show us you the football. So we have Adam and Mahat are leading for the second time. Where are you, Adam and Mahat? Okay. Yeah, okay. Then Mahmoud. And who is nice and good? Five. This is a lot better. So, abandoned water. Al Ma'ul Khalil will become impure when? So, Al Ma'ul Khalil, when does it become impure? Al Ma'ul Khalil, I mean. So, when the color changes, yes. When the smell changes, yes. When the taste changes, yes. So this is all of the above. Okay. There's a little shift in the scoreboard again. Okay, next question. Which of the following does not make the ritual regard compulsory? We just did it. Just did it, okay? Today's lesson we had four jibat al ghusl Sita, there were six. Okay? So sleeping was not one of them. If you sleep, are you still going to take a shower? No. No. Okay? So the menstruation, yes. Discharge of semen, yes. Death, yes. Next question. I have a very tight watch on my wrist. Which of the following should I do when making a wudu? And it's the one we were just talking about. If you have anything on your arm that will protect, that will prevent the water from reaching the skin, that has to be the first. Okay? So if you have a very tight watch on your wrist, you have to remove it first when you're doing your wudu. Falling asleep will nullify your wudu, true or false? Falling asleep will nullify your wudu, yes. Remember? We were just talking about Zawalul Aqli Binawmin. So if you lose your intellect because of a sleep, then that nullifies your wudu. Join. You're still leaving, yes. Yeah. Yeah, next one. Who among the following people is your non mahram Who among the following people is your non mahram Someone you can marry. Marriageable. Someone you can get married to. I gotta remember, if I remove the nun, it becomes your mahram Someone you cannot marry. A non mahram is someone you can get married to. The first says your brother. Can you marry your brother? No. no. Your grandfather. Can you get married to your grandfather? No. no. Maternal aunt. Can you get married to your maternal aunt? No. no. Your havariyata. How can you marry your havariyata? No. no. And then your cousin? Yes. Yeah. And the Islamic law? Yes. Congratulations. You guys, all of you did an excellent job. Okay. So again, this was just a practice. To see if you understood the little concept that we covered in the last few weeks. Okay. Now let's get back to our lesson.